Hi everyone, welcome back to Paracord Planet. It is that time of year again, harvesting season, and a big thanks to South Dakota's corn ambassador for reminding us one of the best crops that we grow here in America. It's corn! It's lumpy, it has knobs, it has all the juices. Heck, you don't even have to like it for it to be the greatest thing in the world. So we decided that we're going to be harvesting our own corn, but of course, we have to make it out of paracord. So in this video, we're going to be doing the track knot bracelet, and we're going to be using some very corny colors. Oh yeah. With all that in mind, let's have ourselves a corn-tastic day, and let's get to paracorning! What? What? It's just a pun about corn. So we're going to kick things off with 25 feet of FS yellow. Now we do offer a variety of different yellows in our store, and you may have seen us use goldenrod or even canary in some previous videos. But for this bracelet today, we're going with 25 feet of FS yellow. We have 10 feet of radioactive, which I think will make a great husk for our corn. We're going to be using our jig and already set up on it. We do have half inch plastic buckles. On the top half, we do have yellow, and on the bottom half, we're going with green. We have our lancing needle, we have our lighter, and our scissors. So the first step into making our four strand core is to take one of the ends of our working strands of our FS yellow, and we're going to put it down the face of our buckle. We're going to give ourselves a little bit of slack here, and what we want to do is a half hitch on the end. So we're going to take our cord, go around itself, and back through the loop. We're going to pull that down and make that knot very tight. Now flip around your jig, and on this side, we're going to do a single strand cow hitch. And the way we do this, we want to take our other working end, the opposite side, put it down through the face of our buckle. And in this case, we want our working strand to end on the left side of our inner core. We want to take our working strand and we want to bring it over itself to the left. Once you have your single strand cow hitch around the bottom half of your buckle, it's time to flip the jig over again. And what we're going to do is another single strand cow hitch on the top part of our buckle. And then we want our strand to end on the outside, so we're going to bring it over top of itself. Take your working strand, bring it through the back, and through the loop. Once you make that single strand cow hitch on the top, flip it over again, and do another single strand cow hitch right next to the one on the bottom buckle that we made before. Once you have the double cow hitches on the bottom buckle, one more time, we flip our jig over, and this time, to end it, we're going to do the same thing we did on the left here with a half hitch, and our cord will be ending on the outside. And with that, we have our four-strand inner core set up, and we are ready to begin the weave. I did just want to note that we did the setup this way to allow for a lot more paracord to be on the right side of our working strand as opposed to the left. We are going to cut that off and just singe it down, but this is a single strand weave and so we wanted to dedicate a lot more of the strand of paracord to the actual weave itself. With that said, step one of your weave, we're going to take our right working strand and we're going to go across on top of the four inner strands. Our next step, we want to take that same working strand and we want to go under and in between the first two inner strands. Working with the same strand, we're going to now take it above the paracord that we have going across the four inner strands and we want to bring it down through the same gap that we put it up through before. So the first and second inner core. So take your strand, put it right between the first and second, and bring it through. 
And basically what we want to do is create a little bit of a bump going between the first and second inner strand. And we're actually going to continue this between the second and third and the third and fourth space of our inner core. We're going to take our working strand, we're going to bring it up through now the second gap between two and three. And just like we did in the previous step, we want to take our working strand, go above the strand that we had brought across in the first step, and down through two and three, that gap right in between, in the middle. Once again, creating that little bump over top of the original cord that we had brought across the top four. And you could probably guess our next step, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to take that cord, but this time we're going between three and four of our inner core. So let's put it through that third gap and bring it through. We're going to take our working strand, go above the cord that we had brought across in the first step, and in between the third and fourth inner core. And now, it's just cinching the knot down. And the way that we can do this, we can push up on the knot to get that little loop going, and then we're just going to pull, come to our first loop, pull, come to our second loop, pull, come to our third loop, and pull. Then we can take our working strand and pull down on that. We're gonna do one more pass to make it sit just a little nicer. And there we have completed the first step. And as you can see, the working strand ends up on the right side, the exact same position that we started in step one. So again, we're just gonna take it, cross it over itself, and continue the weave. We'll come back to the video when we have it about halfway done and we do wanna switch it out for our secondary color. So far, here's what we have done with our corn. Our next step is we're going to be switching over our yellow to radioactive and we're going to be doing this very easily. We're going to cut our yellow and we're going to heat up both the yellow and our radioactive and we're going to pinch them together. Let's do that now. So now that we do have radioactive melted on to our yellow cord there, and we did do it in the back to try and hide everything, we're going to continue with the same weave, doing the exact same thing we did with the yellow, just now with our radioactive. So here we are at the end of our weave. We're gonna do one more pass. We're going to end in the back. As you can see right here, we're gonna cut and singe down our paracord. All right, we have the passes done. We're going to tighten everything down. We can now take it off our jig. We're gonna cut and singe. So here we have our completed track knot bracelet, and I will be a little bit honest with you. Once we got down here and got finished with the green, I got to thinking maybe it might be a little better to do a different weave for our green at the bottom. Maybe a trilobite, maybe a modified version of the trilobite. Something to just take out the yellow from the middle. But having said that, it looks like corn. So as you can see, it's got the lumps, it's got the knob, it's got the juices, and you don't even have to like it for it to be the greatest thing in the world. It's cone. I will also say that this is a very thin bracelet. You just know I love myself a very nice thin bracelet. Very flexible. In fact, might be one of the most flexible bracelets I think we've made. You can kind of curl it if you want to. The back of it looks very, very cool. So let's try it on. The only caution you need to worry about with this is you may have random people coming up and trying to bite your arm. <sighs> it's corn! 
Thank you so much for checking out the video, and if it did help you, a like and subscribe is always appreciated. And don't forget, if there's something you want to see for a future video, just let us know down in the comments below. Have yourself a corn-tastic day! We'll see you on the next video. So in today's video, we are going to salute all of those farmers out there on a successful harvest this year. We're going to be doing the track knot bracelet. But it's going to be corn! <laughs>